Hi. Good day. Now we talk about uh, the Sanctus or the Holy Holy. Now the Sanctus is the first of the three Eucharistic acclamations. Now the Sanctus or the Holy Holy uh, is a conclusion to what we call the preface. Now the preface is when the priest, uh, it's the, there's a dialogue when the priest says, The Lord be with you. Um, lift up your heart. And um, the Holy Holy, it's actually a, a, a biblical text from the vision of uh, the prophet Isaiah in heaven and also the vision of uh, St. John, the evangelist, uh, from the book of Revelation. So there we find uh, the, most of the text of the Holy Holy. Now, the, the, the liturgical text of Holy Holy is Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. That is the, that is the liturgical text. So anything that does not follow the liturgical text or anything that, that changes the liturgical text or any song that, that, that is used to substitute um, this uh, Holy, Holy with, with another text is not uh, liturgical. So remember, uh, the Holy Holy, uh, as we see from the vision of, of St. John and, and the prophet Isaiah, is the song that is sung by the Holy Ones you know, in, in heaven. Now, the Holy Holy has two parts, the, the Holy part and the Hosanna part. Okay, So those of us who are familiar with, with singing the Holy Holy, there's a Holy Holy part and then there's a, there's a Hosanna part. Now, the, the Holy part is, is very important that um, we complete the three holy 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 why because um in 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 hebrew culture they do not have um a way to express uh, superlatives no? uh, so they they do they do not say uh good better best okay or they do not say um beautiful more beautiful most beautiful they, they don't have that uh that uh, technicality in their in their language what they do is um when something is um when something is uh in the superlative they repeat it three times so the, the attribute that god is the holiest among all is expressed in three holy 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 so that is their superlative degree in other words when we when we do not complete the holy 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 okay we are not referring to god because only god can be the holiest you know, uh, of all so um when you look at old churches you no know, you can actually sometimes you, you actually see the holy holy uh, printed on the on the steps going up to the to the main altar or going up to the to the sanctuary you no know? Or, or it's a decoration in the church walls. Okay, um, this triple, or triple holy, 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 is um, is again what what is very biblical. It is what the saints, the holy ones, are singing in front of God. Okay, and then um, we have um, uh, in Latin, uh, Sanctus, 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 no? Dominus Deus Sabaoth. No? The word Lord God of hosts, no? the word Sabaoth, the word Sabaoth has military undertones. No? It, has, it has a military thing behind it. So it expresses that, again, uh, from Jewish culture, that, that the Lord is the, the, the Lord of armies, the Lord of, uh, of, of the battle. No? So that is, the, that is the connotation between the, the, the Hebrew term Sabaoth. It's not actually Latin, it's Hebrew. So, the song, Holy Holy, has to uh, express that notion of power, no? of, of military might. So the, the Holy Holy should, should really express that majesty, that, um, uh, that force no? that, that comes with uh, that notion of, of Dominus Deus. Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. Um, in other words, uh, we please do not compose holy holies that are that are that sound like uh, love songs or um, or they sound like jingles. Please don't, because uh, it does not give justice to the 
to the lyrics, no? to the to the text of the Holy Holy. So that's the first, uh, basically the first part of the Holy Holy. The next part is the Hosanna part. No, Hosanna is um is is a term um that uh, we take from the Psalms. No, we take from the Psalms. Uh, during the time of Christ, um, it was used uh, for for uh, for for songs during uh, festivities. No, it's it's it, it expresses joy. It expresses praise. No, Hosanna, no, Hosanna in the highest. So when we when we sing um, the the Hosanna part of the Sanctus, no, it's it's the moment of of um, of thanksgiving no, of thanksgiving for for God's. Uh, might you know for God's might um, in in bringing us our salvation and and that um, that is a very good um, setting for for the next part you know, of the Eucharistic prayer which is the consecration which is the heart you know, of the Holy Eucharist or the or the mass so that is the holy 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 that's very important and um, when you when we sing the holy holy uh, a little reminder just a little reminder just to just to make us realize how important the song is um, it's actually one of the most important songs in the mass why because when we sing the holy 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 we actually resound no we actually repeat um, what isaiah what saint john uh, saw in heaven so this is the song being sung by the saints and the angels and by, by singing this during the Mass, no? it should give us uh, goosebumps. Why? Because we are participating in that song that, that the Blessed, no? the Blessed, the Holy Ones are already singing in front of God. See? So, um, our, our job as liturgical musicians is not, uh, is not uh, a job. It's actually... Um, uh, a mission, a mission to to help people understand or to help people dispose themselves for what is really happening in the Mass. So thank you again and um, I hope you, in this very short, short session, you learned uh, something um, about our uh, Holy, Holy, Holy. Okay? Thank you and I will see you next time.